Hi, you're watching Flight Steinberg's YouTube channel. Today, let's take control of some stage lights using a synthesizer keyboard and the Raspberry Pi Zero. If you think that's interesting, please join me in this video. Here we go. This video was sponsored by Shades, a manufacturer of stage lighting systems. They asked me if I wanted to review one of their products and I replied, I think this might be a slight mismatch for my channel and there's a chance that no one will watch this video. To which they replied, we're okay with that, we'll just send you one light and then you can do whatever you like. On their webpage you will find a big selection of lighting systems from simple spotlights to fully programmable laser and LED shows. If the quality of the light I received is indicative of all their products, you'll get a lot for your money here and other reviews I watched are generally favorable. So please check out their catalog if you were thinking of spicing up your live performances with lights. I saw this as an opportunity to improve the quality of my videos and ordered this big spotlight here, which I hoped will improve the lighting in future videos. The parcel arrived within two days and the light is much bigger than I expected. The build quality is really good, everything is made from metal. The hinge the spotlight is attached to can be fastened tightly so the spotlight will keep its elevation no matter what. There are so-called barn doors in the front, which will help you to direct the light exactly where it's needed. And on the inside, the 200 watts LED light is built onto rails behind a big lens, so the spotlight can be focused as much as needed automatically. On the back, there are power and DMX connectors, which we'll get into soon. There's also a panel to control the light manually. You can calibrate the focus here, set the light temperature and activate various programs to react to the music in real time using some built-in microphones. The light itself is quite bright. These shots were taken in full daylight, to give you a frame of reference. But we're here to use the DMX interface so we can control this light with a synthesizer keyboard. Normally you'd use a DMX control console to arrange a light show, but good ones are not cheap. But you can buy this USB to DMX adapter for around $20 and use a computer to stand in for a DMX console. So today we're going to use a Raspberry Pi Zero, a USB to DMX adapter, a USB MIDI cable and a USB hub to connect the spotlight to this Yamaha EX5 synthesizer and control the main parameters of the light with the three mod wheels this synth has. This video assumes you already installed the operating system on the Raspberry Pi Zero and also connected a monitor, mouse, keyboard and network. Then connect the USB to DMX cable to the Raspberry Pi and the DMX controlled light. Also connect the USB MIDI cable to the Pi and to your synthesizer. Now on the Pi click the start menu, then preferences, then add remove software. Search for DMX. Check the QLC Plus and QLC Plus data packages and click apply. Wait for the software to be downloaded and installed. Enter your password when needed. Once that's done, you will find the QLC software in the start menu in the sound and video folder. Start the program and click on the inputs outputs tab at the bottom of the window. Your USB to DMX cable should be listed on the right side. Make sure it's checked as an output option. Now let's pause the video here for a moment and take a look at the left side of the screen. As you can see, there's a list of so-called universes right there. In the DMX world, a universe is any given collection of lighting systems that are connected to each other within a setup. Think of it as a group of lights that you want to perform specific tasks. We've assigned our USB output to universe 1 here. And we could go on and connect not only the one light I have here, but daisy chain multiple lights using the DMX out socket on the light itself. 
Okay, with that out of the way, let's take a look at the panel on the back of the light. The first option you can set up when switching the light on is its DMX address. Make sure it's set to 1 in this example. Use the up and down buttons to set the number correctly. Press the menu button and make sure the control mode is set to DMX instead of manual. Also, select the number of channels you're going to use. As we'll soon see, you might want to prefer the higher number here. The higher the number of channels, the more parameters can be controlled remotely. With that done, go back to the software and click the fixtures tabs in the bottom of the screen. Click the plus icon and add a generic fixture. In the properties section, name your light, enter its address, one in this case, and set the number of channels correctly, in this case 7. Then press OK. Now to check if everything works, go to the simple desk tab. Move some of the sliders and your light should do something, in this case light up and fade away. Nice, but now let's collect that to MIDI. On the Inputs Outputs tabs again, search for your MIDI interface and make sure it's an active input by clicking the checkbox. Then click the Virtual Console tab and add a slider by clicking the third icon in the second row in the window. <laughs> Drag the slider somewhere and double click it. We want to control the level of brightness so to speak, so click the level tab and then the switch to level mode button. A list of your fixtures will appear. Open the channel list of the light you want to control by clicking the small arrow next to it. Select as many channels as you like to control with one user interface element on your synthesizer. The manual tells us channel 1 and 2 are the dimmers for overall light intensity and the cool white light, so let's choose those. Go back to the general tab and click the auto detect button. Now go to your synthesizer or MIDI controller and move the control you like to pair with the dimmer. The software should now display the MIDI channel and the control number. Press OK and now you can repeat that process for every channel of your stage light you'd like to use. Here I'm assigning the zoom to mod wheel 2 and the strobe function to the ribbon control. Nice. If I had more lights I could go on and on but for this video this must suffice. I designed a nice arpeggiated sound on my X5 to show this off. Mod Wheel 1 controls LFO depth, Mod Wheel 2 controls filter cutoff frequency, the ribbon controls LFO speed. On the EX5 I had to configure the ribbon to hold its value when I'm not touching it, so the strobe on the light keeps its pace. I also have controls for filter resonance and filter envelope speed here on these knobs. As always, this is not meant to be a great piece of music, but rather a short technical demo, so you can see how all of this works. If you want to hear some music I actually put some effort into, please visit my Bandcamp page. For this example, I've set up two cameras, so you can see the wall behind my keyboard and the light with its focus slider moving around. All in all, I had a lot of fun with this and to be honest, I'm a bit sad I didn't choose the laser and LED combo lights, but this big light will serve my future videos very well. Thanks again to Sheds for sponsoring this video. Please visit the page that I've linked in this video's description. Here's the demo and obviously there are flashing lights in it, so be careful. Don't, 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 don't,
And that's it for today. Controlling a light show using a Raspberry Pi, the DMX and MIDI protocols, and of course a lighting system that has the DMX port. And if you found this interesting and useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And please also visit the page of the sponsor of today's video. As always, thanks for watching and see you again very very soon. Bye bye.